welcome back again to Bermathematica channel. In this video we are going to discuss a problem from Sierpinski number theory problems. So the problem is as follows. We would like to find all n, all n such that this stuff is divisible by n. So okay so first of all uh, we are curious what happens if we pair this kind of number 1 and n minus 1 to the power of n and then so like n to the n plus n minus 1 to the power of n up to uh, what n? we are hoping that if Okay, so first of all, we would like to combine these two terms into one term. And we know that uh, x plus y divides x to the n plus y to the n for odd n, for n odd. Right, so now we consider if n is odd, okay then we go up to what one to the uh, maybe n minus one over two to the power of n and up to n plus one over two to the power of n so each of this is divisible by n so n divides this dot 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 and divides that so therefore that n is uh, n divides this expression so let's call this as s right okay so n divides s for n odd for odd n now what happens if n is even right so now case number two is n is even. So let's play around with a small number. So when n is even, then n minus one is odd. So we consider like, for example, uh, if n is four, for example, one to the power of four, Two to the power of four, three to the power of four. When n is six, one to the power of six. Up to five to the power of six, right? So if there are odd numbers of uh, if there are odd terms of odd numbers, so for example like this, there are odd terms, there are uh, odd numbers of terms of odd number. <laughs> so how to say it in English, I'm sorry. So for example, there are three odd terms here, so then definitely this S is going to be odd, right? Since N is even, then N is not a factor of an odd number right so when this kind of situation happened when do we have odd number terms of odd number so this one is when n is a multiple of 4 this one is n is of the type 4k plus 2 so at least when n is uh, 2 mod 4 we know that n does not divide s right now we are dealing with n equals 4 right so when n equals 4 4k I mean when n is divisible by 4 then we are starting thinking of uh, how many power of 2 within n 
so then uh, let's look at uh, so suppose 2s is the highest power of 2 that divides n so 2 to the power of s divides n but 2 to the power of s plus 1 does not divide n okay so now we are <coughs> going to find what is the uh, so the question is is 2 to the power of small s divides s for example because if it does then we are hoping that uh, because remember that this 2 to the power of s is a factor of n so if it is indeed true then perhaps it is an indication that uh, it might happen that n divides n but if it is not true then for sure n does not divide s right okay so now we are looking at this kind of expression k to the power of n right if if k is even say k is equal to twice of m then k to the power of n is equal to the to 2 to the power of <coughs> 2m <coughs> so recall that 2s to the power of s divides n right so in particular 2 to the power of s is smaller than n so then definitely if if this if 2 to the power of s is smaller than n then in general s is also smaller than 2 to the power of s so therefore then uh, since s is smaller than n so therefore this guy whenever k is even is divisible by 2 to the power of s right so we will say that k to the power of n is equal to 0 mod 2 to the power of s okay now what happened if k is odd and k is odd then k is relatively prime to 2 to the power of s therefore by the euler theorem we know that k to the power of the euler fifth function of 2 to the s is equal to 1 mod 2 to the power of s but what is the value of the euler function at 2 to the power of s so this is k to the power 2 to the power of s minus 1 this is equal to 1 mod 2 to the s power so again then uh, we can see that this guy so recall that n is equal to let's say 2 to the power of s times n tilde right when n tilde is no longer divisible by 2 so this can be rewrite as 2 to the power of s minus 1 times 2 n tilde correct so therefore k to the n power is equal to k to the 2 then twice of n tilde but this guy is equal to 1 modulo 2 to the power of s so this is equal to 1 to the power of 2 n tilde which is equal to 1 modulo 2 to the power of s so therefore we know that each of these odd number raised to the n power are all equal to 1 modulo Two to the power of s so therefore uh, 1 to the power of n plus 2 to the power of 3 up to n 
minus one to the power of n. Okay. So how many odd numbers here? So it's gonna be half of uh, n, right? Because if we if we consider number from one up to n, for example, there are exactly uh, n uh, there are exactly n numbers and there are exactly half of n odd numbers, right? But since n is even, if we consider from one up to n minus one, then the number of odd numbers uh, between one up to n minus one is still n over two. So therefore, this guy is going to be equal to one plus one plus one. How many number of ones? There are n over two ones when we consider this modulo 2 to the power of s. So therefore, this is equal to half of n mod 2 to the power of s. And remember that when k is even, uh, k to the power of n is equal to 0 mod 2 to the power of s. So therefore, we know that 1 to the power of n, 2 to the power of n plus up to n minus 1 to the n power is equal to 0 plus half of n. So half of n mod 2 to the power of s. Now assume on the contrary that n divides this guy, right? If n divide s, then 2 to the power of s since it is a factor of n, also divides s. So it follows that this guy, then s is equal to 0 mod n, mod 2 to the power of s. In the case that if f, if n divides s, right? So if n really divides s, then s must be equal to 0 mod 2 to the power of s but combining these two facts together then we have n over 2 is equal to 0 mod 2 to the power of s right but uh, remember that n is equal to 2 to the power of s uh, times n tilde when n tilde has no factor of 2 anymore right so if we divide by 2 n over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of s minus 1 times n tilde okay but the fact that 2 to the power of s divides n over 2 implies that so this is like uh, okay so if it is indeed true, then we can write 2 n over 2 s 2 to the power of s times uh, whatever uh, t perhaps something like this. Now, if we divide both sides by 2 to the power of s minus 1, then we have 2 t is equal to n tilde, which implies that n tilde is divisible by 2 which is a contradiction because uh, we already say in the beginning that s is the highest power so 2 to the s is uh, the the biggest factor of 2 that divides n right so this is a contradiction so therefore we conclude that n divides s if and only if n is odd. So definitely the write up uh, is not uh, pretty yet. Yeah, we need to to do the writing.
carefully so the solution is more readable and more elegant but all the ideas are there okay so that's all thank you for watching see you again on the next video